TJ, is this a game that brings the best out of not only you, but maybe this team? I mean, yeah, I mean, any divisional game, let alone Baltimore uh, at home, hopefully it brings the best out of the fans too and everybody uh, in this building. I'm um, excited for the matchup, not only because it's the next one, but like I just said, it's Baltimore. They're 2-0 and on the road in the division. Um, can't make it 3-0. Why have you guys had so much success? I mean, you haven't played him a lot, Lamar Jackson. What, what do you have to do to kind of contain him, a guy like him? Uh, we were just talking about it. It's, it's been a while since we've played him. I think he's only played three times um, in our appearances together. And it's just about being decisive, doing your job, um, understanding who has what in the run game. Obviously, when there's a quarterback run element of it, um, you have you can't try to do too much and be the quarterback player for the dive player and vice versa. And then it's just tackling. I mean, I feel like every week I come up here and talk about tackling, but it truly is uh, super important for us as defenders to get to get the guy on the ground early. So it's not those yards after contact. TJ, how has he grown or evolved since the last time you saw Lamar? I think it's just comfort, uh, comfort in the system, comfort with the guys. Um, and the 89's always been a good security blanket for him. You have four now too, and then uh, just a bunch of other players that help him out. And uh, it's just making quick decisions in the run game when it comes to mesh reads and in the pass game. With the new coordinator, I mean, what are some of the biggest differences that you guys have seen in the Ravens offense? Well, I think they, it's not a whole lot different. Uh, I don't think um, not everybody's going to see a lot of the differences. There are some things uh, down in and down out that you can pick on. I'm not going to talk in specifics, but uh, we feel like we have a pretty good beat on some things that they could possibly do. TJ, is tackling the main issue with the run defense now, or are there other things that are cropping up? Today? Well, tackling is always at the top of the list. Um, just being a Simon Sound, uh, I think, is also up there. Not trying to be play two gaps and you're a one gap player. Just simple things like that uh, that make a defense really sound are things that we haven't been able to do um, the past couple weeks. Obviously, you guys hope that Alex can go, but just how much better maybe is the depth at the, at the position and an outside linebacker this year than it was this time last year? I would feel confident. We always feel confident anyway in this locker room. But uh, I mean, MG, a guy that's done it for a long time, um, at a high level, uh, still has a lot in the tank. Um, always feel very confident in him. And obviously, Young Herbig, uh, you guys saw what he was able to do in the preseason. He's been a sponge, soaking up as much information as possible, and I uh, feel very confident with the depth that we have. Alex, is it something that popped up during practice, or is it a residual from from the game? Yeah, it was just something that, uh, that popped up during practice, but I've been getting a lot of treatment on it, uh, and taking care of it, and resting it well. So I know I'm going to feel good on Sunday. Were you able to get more work in today compared to yesterday, or compared to I would say Wednesday, or where do you feel like you're at workload wise going into this? Yeah, weekend? I did some more. I did some more today than I did uh, yesterday. Um, like I said, I practice almost the whole practice. You know, it's towards the end of practice on Wednesday. Um, but you know, today I was just out there in the past couple of days, just really getting a lot of mental reps and just envisioning myself in every play. Um, and so yeah, I did, did more today than yesterday, but you know, I'm feeling good. Alex, do you think you'd have to limit reps at all? No, well, I mean, we'll see. Um, I think, you know, I should be I should be full go and ready, ready, ready to go. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm just getting a lot of treatment and, you know, just really taking um, priority in that. So, but overall, you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling really good and a lot, a lot better. What have you seen from Marcus and Nick? How much is that confidence yeah. <laughs> in the guys behind you now? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, they've been, they've been so great this far this far this season. Um, you know, MG, you know, coming in and, you know, getting sacks and Nick coming in and, and making plays as well. Um, it's just been huge for us. And so, you know, knowing that, you know, um, me and TJ are to go out, you know, those guys are able to come in and play and play play great for us. So it's, um, they've been great so far. You guys have had some success against Lamar Jackson in the past. You haven't necessarily seen him a ton because of injuries and timing. Yeah. But what is it that maybe there's a, a commonality that you guys are able to kind of support? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just being aggressive, you know, because, you know, he's um, – the most versatile Q QB in the league, you know, and so he's a, he's a, he's a dangerous guy, you know, get after you with, with the pass and the run. So you just got to you know, be aggressive. And um, I think that's just something for us, you know, we always want to be aggressive um, in this matchup with him. And so, you know, he, we know he's, a, he's one of the most dangerous uh, players in the league. So we just really got to get after him. Alex, is this the game that kind of brings out the best in you and you guys here? Yeah, I mean, this is definitely, you know, it's Raven Stewart's AFC North, you know, there's a lot of history in this rivalry. And so um, it's definitely, you know, a little some added intensity in this game. It's, you know, the, you know, the fans are going to be crazy at the game as well. So um, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I just love this matchup every year. Um, and just to be at home for the first first one this year is, is awesome. So, you know, I can't wait. Alex, they brought in a new coordinator. How different is it? Yeah, they, you know they got a lot of a lot of similarities, but they're changing up some stuff as well. Um, but you know they've done they've done a good job, you know, of mixing, of mixing in pass and mixing in the run. But you know they they do stay with a lot of their core stuff as well. And so you know it's been uh, um, just really got to you know, be on our p's and q's with these guys because they a lot of got a lot of good schemes. Um, so we just really got to be be locked in on our assignment, and just do our job. Um, you know, because if, if you don't do their job, you know they're going to find ways to exploit that. And so um, we just really got to be locked in on our jobs and, uh, and playing fast, playing physical. Thanks, Alex.